and welcome to my channel. Today's For today's look, I decided to uh, create something that I believe my cousin that is here from Norway would like. She is, her name is Maria, and she's from Norway. She's visiting right now, and she is a complete makeup addict like um like I am and she prefers and her preferences lean more towards like the more pretty makeup that you can wear every day because that's what she does in Norway um so I uh, for today's look I I wanted to kind of create I got her the bloodlust palette and she's really excited about it it's She's really, really loving it. Um, and she also has, so she has, so I got her this one, the Bloodlust palette, and she also has the Blood Sugar palette that she got when it was out when she was here, um, when this came out, or after, I can't remember, maybe she got it on the restock. Anyway, she has both. And I thought for today's look, I would try to create something for her that she would like to wear and that she would enjoy, um, you know, that she would enjoy wearing with her palette. And so I think what we're gonna also try to do is sometimes with the Bloodless palette, it is such a cool palette. And it's, it's a little bit, so it's a little bit cool. So sometimes when you wanna go neutral, um, it's a little bit of a challenge. So what we're going to do is Create some of the warm, use some of the warm neutral sort of tones from blood sugar, but still create something that's a uh, bloodlust lilac sort of look as well. So that's what we're going to do today. It's probably going to be something like a halo. I really have not done one in so long, and I know she loves those. So. Yeah, so let's get started. I just, uh, I did my brows and concealed and yeah, let's get going. Okay, so this is where we're going with it and I think it turned out really pretty. Um, if you can see, the challenge is sometimes to keep cool tones really warm. So as you can see, we just kind of made this like pretty, um, really pretty halo eye. And um, yeah, we can bedazzle it or whatever, but I, I kept the gradient very blushy up there. And I really think that it just looks so pretty. So let's get started on this eye and I will show you where I'm going with this. Thank God the sun like finally is coming out. It's it's been raining here. I don't know where you're watching this. I'm just gonna reactivate my primer. But it's been raining here so much, but it's finally a beautiful day. So yeah, I just wanted to show you um, how you can create this really soft blushy gradient by using these shades right here first from the blood sugar palette but you wouldn't necessarily have to because you can still achieve this with bloodlust the blushy um gradient effect on top by using your majesty and royal pain and blending those really good you could even add a little bit of monarchy to achieve this same blushy gradient look on um this type of eye makeup but i have a lot of i have a lot of space up here so like i really like to ha see the gradient effect um but like i said today's challenge was keeping it um keeping it pretty um warm and blushy to kind of go with my outfit too um for this halo eye so we're gonna start with glucose, or you could start with your majesty if you're just using um, the Bloodless palette. And we're gonna stamp that right here. 
just to set that primer that I used on your brow arch, your brow bone. And this is just a fluffy brush. And then we're going to take Sugar Cane, which is one of my favorite, favorite pla uh, colors from Bloodlust. I have done so many beautiful neutral looks with this color. I love it. So we're just going to blend that very softly under glucose just because I'm very fair and I'm taking it all the way over here. So just depending on your eye, but I'm just blending and blending and there we go. As I was blending over, I was like, oh wait, where is the tape? There it is. Okay, so then you wanna blend all the way to the tape and just blend all the way up. Circular motions. This is just a blush of color and this is more like water well yeah like just soft washes of color then i'm going to take glucose again and i like to keep it very white up here when i'm doing this type of very rounded look and then blend that together then you're going to take i'm taking cake mix on a JS12 and now I'm going to go under that where we just went and kind of go in the main portion of my crease keeping it on the higher side and blending that in with sugar cane Then I'm going to take the brush that we used with sugar cane and blend sugar cane and cake mix together. And just softly, softly blend those edges in together. And then it's it cre it starts to create this pretty high blushy gradient that's very warm and balances nice with the purples. So then you're going to take Royal Pain and I'm taking it on AJS6 and then we're going to go a little bit more into the deeper into the crease with Royal Pain. Okay, so then what I did in order to start working on a gradient to add the purples and the cools in, actually grab your brush that you use with cake mix and blend cake mix and royal pain to buff that out now. Okay, good. So then you can see blush, warm, lightness. So then now we are going to grab a, I'm using a Morphe M321 and then we're gonna actually grab Vivid Mood and deepen this to make it more of a pastel blushy lilac color. We're gonna blend this into royal pain. Okay. 
I'm gonna deepen this color pretty good. And you see how you want it to be, like you wanna be able to start seeing it now right here. Okay, now we're going to grab Vivid Mood and Royal Pain together and then soften that edge. You see where I'm going with this feather? Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty, all blend these colors all blended together. They're so pastel, but still like purpley. I just love it. And then now I'm going to darken Royal Pain. And then wherever you think that gradient needs some adjustment, just adjust it. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the shade Dungeon and start creating the depth on the outside of our halo eye. So we're just going to stamp it in here. Side, and then very, very lightly rainbow arch it over blend. Just a couple times. Making sure you go where you cut your halo. And then I want you to take Vivid Mood and blend the edge of Dungeon. On both sides. Okay, so now I'm taking a Creolon Art 4312 and I'm gonna cut the crease. This one's rather large. If you use a smaller brush, then that's cool. I just have big eyeballs, man. <laughs> Oops. So then just stamp it like how you normally do. I know some, some people like to do this kind of thing. I have hooded eyes, so I have to go above the hooded section. I just want you to take your time with it, and I want you to get this very, very sharp up here. It looks so cool when you can get it really, really sharp, and I'll show you how I emphasized mine on this side. But um, yeah, with halo eyes, you just have to like spend your time getting that upper line really, really sharp. It takes me a little bit longer because I have hooded eyes. I used to not even do halo eyes because of my hooded eyes, but I find that now just doing this um, method of going way high above works so much better. So yeah, just spend time with that. And then I'm gonna want you to start blending. Actually, I want this to come over a little more. So after you get that really sharp, then I want you to take just any round, small blending brush. Sorry, my, my stems are dirty. And I want you to blend the edges of this portion. Blend them down. You can do little circles and blend them down. You basically don't want to see that concealer anymore that, that it was even there. So as you can start to see that you're already getting a beautiful halo gradient just from carefully blending the edges of your concealer. You just want to keep it this sharp and keep blending until you can't really tell like you've had concealer there and it looks like a gradient on each edge is when I think it looks good. So then what you want to do is take your most lightest shade in your palette 
and in this case we are going to use wet jewel because i also wanted this to have this foiled look like we did here i'm taking a js10 and taking wet jewel and really stamping it on what and 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 at reactivating my primer to make it sticky again to make sure that this foil shade stays and I want you to champ it sideways like this. And then flip the brush over. You want the whitest portion right down the center. Very good. Now you can stamp it over the entire con concealer because we're gonna just tap the other metallic foils on top of that. And then we're just gonna blend those edges. Okay, now I like to sharpen the line and I'm gonna take Dungeon mixed with Executioner, just a little swipe of each, and I'm taking a very, very tiny, thin craft brush, and I'm just going to blend the edge of the halo eye just to make this look more sharp. The reason why you want to use a really, really, really sharp tip is because you don't want to see a line of black. That's why you're going to mix it with Dungeon because that's a color that you already had up there. You just kind of want it to blend and then blend the edges back into the side. Okay, good. So now once you have that going, if you need to make any adjustments on your gradient, then do that. I'm going to actually add, I'm finding now that I want to add a little bit more Royal Pain, so I'm going to grab that same brush and make Royal Pain a little bit higher. Then you're going to grab Royal Dungeon again on the same brush and just kind of come up again just to strengthen that color. Then we're going to add, we're going to take a JS 13 and we're going to grab pink magic to complete this foiled halo Okay, so now this is going to be right next to Wet jewel and For this particular formula. I'm stamping it Right next to as you can see I did here I did it right next to wet jewel And then depending on how sharp and tight you like your halo, you can blend the darker in more if you want. Um, I kind of like it like this. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to blend this a little bit more. And then I'm going to take Dungeon and wipe off the brush a bit and tap it just a little bit onto the Pink Magic. Then I'm going to grab a small flat paddle brush and I'm going to grab a little bit of Blood Queen and put that right next to that. Sort of just like tamp it on either side. blending and then I'm going to grab that same little brush that we used to do the sharp line and I'm going to grab a little bit of executioner and just get the very inner edges like right here and right out here okay let's add sorry let's add wet jewel right up here 
Okay, so now we're just gonna do our liner. I'm using this doll face liner. So now I'm just gonna make sure that each of my eyes are even with the liner and then I'm gonna get uh, lashes on off camera and then we can finish the look together. So let's get our foundation on and contouring and highlight and all the pretty fun stuff so we can do the beautiful lip and then we, we can bedazzle everything at the end. But I think my cousin will be happy with this pretty halo eye. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little tiny bit of Blood Queen on that tiny little brush that we used. And I'm just going to dab over that. I don't think I want to use Pink Magic like we did up here. So we're gonna do Dungeon, Blood Queen, and then Wet Jewel. If we can't see Wet Jewel, we're gonna switch to Beauty Sleeve. Oh yeah, see that gives it a lot more of a gradient. Take a little bit of executioner to tie in the wing. And maybe a little bit right in here. Pretty much kind of like mimicking what we did above. Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna pop pink jewel. Wet jewel. I'm gonna spray it. Oh. So pretty. So you get that halo look right here. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> Wet Jewel is so pretty, oh my God. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but the, um, the freckles did work, but I did have to add just like a tiny bit. I think you need to use maybe a sheerer, like a medium, to sheer coverage um, foundation and I'm using a full coverage. So I added a little bit, but next time I'm gonna try it sheer. But yeah, so anyways, just, excuse me, blend in to your liking. Okay, looking good. I was, so I would recommend to go either purple or black on the inner, um, on the waterline um, or Hold on. Okay, or we could do this. This is Piggy Bank from ColourPop. This is Viper from Urban De Decay, and this is black. It just depends on what you want. You could make the ColourPop a little bit more. Um, I tend to just play Halo Eye uh, water lines by ear and just kind of see how it looks. Uh, I don't have like one particular, I, I think black kind of closes it in a little bit too much. Let's try, let's try piggy bank. Let me do some mascara. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do the lip that I wanted to do. So remember how I wanted to keep this um, kind of like purpley, wearable, pretty, but also tie in the blushy tones. So we're going to go in with Celebrity Skin and Gemini because I think Gemini will still give it like that nudie sort of look, but also keep it like, keep the purpley tones kind of warm. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if it's a little too warm and gingery. So pretty though. Okay, let me spray it and check it out. Okay, so although I think it is absolutely gorgeous, it's a little bit too warm and gingery for me. So I'm going to add a little bit of I'm Nude in the center and I'm gonna pick a lip gloss after I see what that looks like. Okay, woo! See, that's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, I'm just going to add a gloss. I'm gonna first go in with Shockwave because it's my favorite one. It's like the Lip Ammunition's Beam Me Up, which is my favorite lip ammunition. And this is basically like the exact one in the gloss form. And I absolutely love it. So let's do Shockwave. Let me grab a mirror, hold on here. Oh, baby. Pretty. Ooh, I really like that. Let's try Iridescent Throne too. Okay, that's awesome too. I love it too. So it gives you the warm. It gives you the duochrome, and then this in the center gives you like a pop of tying in the the purple tones and like, you know, the tones going on over here with the purpley, magenta -y, blushy tones. So yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope this inspires you to do something beautiful that you love. Create some kind of like beautiful makeup that is beautiful to you. I know I try all kinds of weird stuff all the time just because I'm adventurous and um, I like different things. I like fun trendy looks. I like, but I'm a makeup connoisseur in that sense, like a makeup look connoisseur. Like I like everything. Like I like even just plain lashes and, and liner and you know, I, I just, I like it all. I like one shade looks. I like two tone looks. Like, I like it all <laughs> so sometimes it is challenging to do something like this where it's just like okay it's just a halo eye gen so yeah i feel like the wing was a bit thick i could have kept that thinner for maria's taste but i think she's gonna love this and i hope that you do too have a wonderful day and thank you so much for joining me bye